We have financial freedom coming up here. If you don't know me, I'm Michelle. This is Angel Souls. I am an angel medium. I'm going to be letting you know what the angels want to get to you for you to understand and what to do with that information. Okay, so right out the gate, we have Ace of Ariel. Now, this is talking about being solid with resources. So it could be money. It's usually associated with money. But something's breaking free. We're coming out of this 1010 energy portal. Actually, I'm getting this weekly up a little bit late, but I did post something on Sunday explaining all of that. So make sure you go back and look at that. But this is what's happening. We're breaking free of a sense of control. Now, in that last video, I was talking about how we're kind of trained to be worker bees. There's a whole culture of if you're not 10 minutes early, you're 10 minutes late. We expect you to work over with no compensation you know, digging into our pockets to cover expenses or just in general, not expecting you to have a life or expecting you to have your whole job be your life. Now, I think this is why things like social media have exploded in the past few years because people realized, hey, I don't have to be under, I'm here in tyranny. So, um, that might be something that comes up with the 1010 energy portal this week. Some sort of tyranny is being exposed and torn down. So we're going to start setting more boundaries. We're going to start uh, not just allowing anybody to make us feel bad about how we feel or how we see things. The other kind of abundant thing is the clarity. So there's a, an abundance of clarity, right, coming through about how people view things. I know somebody who, and I've talked about this in other videos, they just are always trying to play devil's advocate. And they really think that they're being a good balanced person. When really, that is just antagonizing. It's not very considerate of the person you're talking to. It's certainly not compassionate. If you genuinely have someone in front of you, who's having a moment, and I'm not talking about people who just play victim for attention or they're like narcissists or something like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about healthy people who are just observing something or going through something and someone's trying to make them question their reality. Like that's gaslighting and we don't love it. Okay. So there could be something around that where we're finally putting an end to what we accept. All right. So this Ace of Ariel card says it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time. That's good. Time or support. We love support. We'll take angelic support of our spirit guides. Thank you so much. We love you. A change in job or promotion. I'm telling you, so for some of you who have been kind of going through it or you have been sucked into that sort of toxic culture of if you want to have a roof over your head, you better do as I say. Uh, if you want to be able to see a doctor and have health care, you better do as I say. It's a whole thing. All right. <laughs> then we have something to celebrate here. This is why... This whole energy here is really pumping up to some some new offer, something fantastic coming through. So this this is three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. This to me also, we're redefining what what we call a friendship. You know, somebody that you can't honestly talk to, that's not a friend. Okay, that is not a friend. And usually people will say, oh, no, my friends let me talk. But do they really care? Or are they just sitting there trying to pretend to be a good friend and they can't wait for you to stop talking? You see what I'm saying? Uh, this also goes into, do you have a friend who sucks the air out of the room? Everything always has to be about them. Everything's about the drama they're going through. Again, we have to get good at distinguishing who's really hurting and they're talking because they need to heal uh, and they need to feel supported and who's just talking for attention. But besides all of that deep stuff, <laughs> right? The three of Raphael, there's something lovely coming through. Uh, that is really a creative restart. Now pages are messengers. We have the page of Gabriel here and the card says, follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge opportunities for excitement and adventure. So there's a refresh here, but something else has to be rid of so be careful of people who 
like some of you, I've heard the stories. Okay. I've heard you guys email me. You tell me all this stuff and I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to laugh. I'm just like laughing because like, wow, the, the state of the world, man. Okay. <laughs> like just the stuff people will pull, but you know, it could be the kind of thing where someone's not being fair to you. And so you're setting the boundary and then they get mad at you because maybe you decide to leave that job this week. And they're like, oh, how could you do that to us? No accountability for anything that they've done. Here's a very simplistic example. Have you ever been talking and you get one sentence out and you have that person who talks right over you and has to interrupt you and they're trying to change the subject? Maybe you're sick of that. Maybe they do it a lot. So you keep talking and they like oh, act like you're interrupting them or, oh my gosh, you just will not let me talk. That's what we're talking about here. <laughs> All right? So there's freedom around this as well. So you're getting your distance from that type of person. Um, but there's something exciting and new. It's like I'm free of all that. And even if somebody this week tries to make you feel bad for moving on, you don't need to feel bad. All right. Then we have the Queen of Ariel. This is a stepping into power. And it's a very grounded, prosperous kind of power. Again, I feel like for a lot of you out there, you, you have been trained to be that worker bee and you have not been allowed to set boundaries or you've been really challenged in setting boundaries. Maybe people don't take those boundaries seriously. And you're like, you know what? I will tap into my own power and I will go find my own sense of stability. And they don't like that. Okay. Whoever you're walking away from, they're not going to like that. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. This is really beautiful. You're stepping into your power. Yes. And so you have really great ideas popping up here. And it might be because we have the page of Gabriel there. It might be an area where you're not really well versed, but don't worry about it because you will learn it and you'll be able to make a good living from it. That is not encouraging everybody who's watching this. It's a general reading. Okay. If you want a personal reading, you can email me for a live session at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Or if you want to get a standard reading, you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com. They have different price points, so, you know, just keep that in mind. All right, then we have freedom. <laughs> so here is the freedom card, and that's what we're talking about here. You're breaking free of some sort of conventional way of thinking. You're breaking free of someone's control or the idea. I see this all the time. People are like, well, you have to do this. No, I don't have to do anything. What do you mean? Yes, you do. And they literally are so far gone up here. Okay. So far gone and so brainwashed that they think that how they were kind of bullied into doing something, that that's the norm and that they can now turn around and bully other people into that. And because I had to go through it, you should have to go through it. Oof. I just got a message about karma. Lean in. Okay. Um, uh, if you're one of those people, <laughs> you have just been going out of your way to be competitive with someone. Ugh. First of all, gross. Come on. Are you a grown up? Yeah, I'm that mean reader. I, that, I'm here. Okay. Grow up. <laughs> Number one. Two, let's take on more of a collaborative thing. You know what I mean? Like, so if you're at work and, you know, somebody at work might need your help a little bit, it's not the end of the world to jump in there and help unless it's somebody who's always trying to put their work off onto you. That's something different. But if you're, tr if you're constantly trying to avoid giving a helping hand or you're being self-centered, let's put it that way, because that's really what it is. That you're being more self-centered and you're just going out of your way to make sure that nobody that you don't have to do anything for anybody else. That's going to hit you so hard. That is going to hit you so hard. You don't get this. You don't get the freedom. You don't get the, the opportunities. And you'll be jealous and you'll try to take them from other people. And then it's going to hit you double and then triple until you get it. That's what I have. All right. Leave your comments down below. Again, angelsouls444.com if you would like a personal reading. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.